We waited 100 days for football to return, but just four days and two games into the restart, our season has flatlined. Hi and welcome to Stay Gooned. I hope you're all well. This is the red and white board match reaction and we've lost again 2-1 at Brighton. They've done the double over us now. This just keeps happening again and again. I've been really positive and optimistic since Arteta came in. I thought we had a chance to get into the top four, the top five, but four days and two games into the restart, the hope is all gone. The season is a total write-off now. We won't even get the Europa League. We've got a habit of breaking records, not our own records, but the records of other teams. Brighton came into this game without a win in 2020 and we just handed it to them on a platter. There's some real problems at our club right now. When Arteta joined us, we all saw the videos of him walking around and telling all the staff members there's a lot of work to do, there's a lot of work to do. And this just rings so true. A lot of work for him, sorting the mess out that he's inherited, but also a lot of work for the owners and the board. From player recruitment to all the contract situations at the club, and the poor mentality and all these injuries we keep getting they're dropping like flies at the moment Burnt Leno is the latest casualty taken out today by Morpé whether or not Morpé meant to hurt him or not is besides the point it was a needless and dangerous thing to do pushing into him while he was mid-air and the ball was in his arm Morpé didn't even get a booking for that that is an absolute joke Leno will probably be out for a lengthy spell now I wish him all the best and a speedy recovery. It's such a shame he's been one of the few shining lights this season, probably our best player. In terms of the game itself, we started off brightly as we always seem to do. We were creating chances, but yet again we failed to capitalise. Lacazette guilty of missing two or three chances and I'm fed up of this situation of playing Aubameyang out wide. Today's game highlighted this. Laka is not sharp enough inside the box when the delivery comes in. He does his good work with the ball at his feet, um, wriggling away from players and then trying to get his shot off. But Obama Yang, on the other hand, is clinical inside the box. He would have tucked away at least one of those chances. Obama Yang was poor the other night against City, but today I thought he played well. It's just that playing from the left, um, it's not his strength and he had quite a few attempts today but mostly from tight angles. We need Obama Yang to be getting onto the end of things inside the box and not trying to be Thierry Henry. He's just not that guy. If we're going to be playing one striker, it has to be Obama Yang. I think Saka was our best player in the first half, playing on his natural side. He hit the ball with a great effort and he was creating chances left, right and centre. Pepe had a poor game but a moment of absolute brilliance to give us the lead but we just can't seem to see the games out and worse still we lose them. In the 95th minute I was fuming at the two dropped points and then in typical Arsenal style we concede again. We've been on repeat mode for a decade and it's just getting worse and worse. I don't want to get too much onto Arteta's back today. Um, his team selection was okay apart from the Obama Young situation, but his substitutes today were dreadful. Why can't Martinelli get a look in? When they equalise, surely he's the player to look to to get us back into the lead. I just don't know what Martinelli has, been, has done to be left out of this team. And the Ozil situation, this needs to be sorted. He's been brought back into the squad today, but he doesn't use him. Well, Arteta doesn't use him when we need a goal, and we all know Ozil can create. If the club or Mikel no longer want Ozil at the club, they need to make it plain. This game of they're playing, of him one minute being in the squad and the next minute being exiled, is getting tiresome. There's major surgery needed at this club from top to bottom and I just don't trust Kroenke will do it or that he even cares. Arteta's honeymoon period is well and truly over now and he's got a gargantuan job on his hands. I can't believe we flatlined after just four days. Bring the lockdown back. That's all I've got to say for now folks. Uh, massively disappointed. Let me know in the comments your views and your thoughts. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, wherever you are in the world, stay safe 
and stay gooned. <laughs>